I swear to you, one of these days I'm going to get another narrated Wi-Fi battle up. And I think today is the day. So anyways, this is a match against, I think his name was Ultimate Goku on the stream that I had. Back when streaming still apparently worked for me, I don't know, I might see if I can iron out some bugs with that whole thing. Despite the fact that live stream is just being live stream and they're moving on to a new thing that makes it so you have to pay $45 a month to stream on it. Just like uh, Twitch is doing and other uh, things are doing soon too, probably. Anyway, I'm going to leave with Metacham. This is an RU match against Ultimate Goku. And I'm going to go for the high jump kick and he's going to live on his focus sash because he wants to focus his waterfalls and try to kill me, but he does not because of the random number generator kind of being a guy who doesn't like things dying in one hit. He's going to Aqua Jet and kill me off as I go out to Tornado, and since I am the weird person who runs max defense on his uh, Steelix, I'm going to be able to take that like it is absolutely nothing and finish him off with an Earthquake. Now, um, he's going to bring out his uh, Gardevoir, get the Sturdy Trace, like it matters at all. And I'm going to either go for Stealth Rocks or Toxic, if I recall correctly, as he goes for Focus Blast and misses. No, I'm looking for Dragon Tail. We both miss our moves, so it's just like, wow, really? That's just great. I mean, I understand Silk isn't a dragon, so he's not as good as other Pokemon that use the move, but whatever. I want to switch now into Don't Blink, because I don't want to really take that Focus Blast, because I'm not specially defensive like most people would run. And he's going to go for Shadow Ball now as I go for something toxic. Yeah, that sounds about right because it is what I do. And I don't take that Shadow Ball as well as I would have liked to, I guess. But I suppose that him being Gardevoir and Gardevoir does have a good special attack stat. All I get to do is set up Stealth Rocks and Toxic, I think. If I even got Stealth Rocks up, I don't even know. Might have. I don't know. Can't remember. I've already forgotten, it just happened five seconds ago. So I'm going to go out to my Moltres, I still don't know why I need to tremble, but whatever. It works, I forget exactly. Tremble in fear, supposedly, possibly, kind of. I'm going to go for sub and have it broken by a psychic, because psychics are not in need of transportation, they just teleport everywhere. So having a sub just makes it jealous and it decides to kill me. Out comes a slacking and he's going to retaliate because he is faster than me I'm guessing because he is either scarfed or something else but he finishes me off and I'm gonna go out to Sceptile and he's going to bring out a Gothitelle who is going to miss the Focus Blast which wouldn't have done anything anyway but you know I'm gonna go for Leaf Storm and it's not gonna kill because Gothitelle has bulk, apparently, that I don't know about, and he's going to toxic me. And I am just trying to figure out what I'm going to do about this whole situation here, so I'm going to go for another Leaf Storm and not kill again. Thankfully, he doesn't go for, like, rest or something. I don't think Gothitelle actually gets any other recovery moves. And now I'm going to go for the lol what Dragon Breath. Apparently, I have Dragon Breath, and I'm not supposed to have it. I'm supposed to have Dragon Pulse. So that Paralyze kind of makes up for the fact because it should have died, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be able to kill it off this turn with Steelix, which is really weird because I don't understand why I have Dragon Breath. I guess that's just poke a save for you. But going to go out to Torsnado and finish him off with Crunch. Out comes a Samurai, which in theory could wreck the rest of my team, but we're going to find out here. He goes for Hydro Pump and kills me off, which is expected really, but I thought maybe he'd be a physical set and he would go for like Swords Dance or something. But he is mixed, like most Samurots apparently are nowadays. Going to go out to Clefable, and I don't understand why I named it Arl. I mean, I know what Arl is, I know who she is, she's from Puyo Puyo, but like, I don't know why I named it that. I'm going to Protect to see what he wants to do for whatever reason to get some more lefties, because I got flinched last turn. And flinches are dumb, and I hate them, and they're stupid, and I want them to go away. I'm going to go for Thunder Wave now. He's going to drink the tea, and he's not going to like it. He's going to get all paralyzed and stuff, well, she. And um, now I'm going to protect as he goes for Waterfall. And I'm kind of hoping for a para hacks because that flinch ruined my dreams and my plans and everything else, because I was going to wish and protect the next turn after I got the paralyze off. But he gets paralyzed here, thankfully, which I know it's kind of dumb to hope for hacks, but 
he kind of hacks me, so I'm not really bothered by him getting hacked back. And now I'm up to where I should have been a few turns ago, thanks to the fact that he flinched me. So I'm going to Seismic Toss now, because I really don't have any other moves to go for. The Paralyze doesn't really matter, because I can just go for a Wish and Protect again. So it's not like it's that big of a deal. He gets Paralyzed again, which is kind of bad. I mean, it's at this point it's getting a little excessive, but really, I he really couldn't have done much to me anyway. So it's not that big of a deal, at least in my opinion. Out comes the slacking again, and I'm pretty sure he's just going to go for the move here, retaliate, I guess. But I'm going to protect, and it's pretty much futile for him to stay in, but I don't know what he's going to do exactly. So he just stays in, and I'm going to Thunder Wave him again. And now I'm pretty much guaranteed that I'm going to stall him out. And I don't know if this is my last poke or not yet. He's going to go out to his Bastiodon. No, this isn't. This is my last poke, but he's got his last two pokes, and he's just going to keep going for moves. I'm going to Thunder Wave him for the sake of hacks, I guess, and he's going to Toxic me. But since I'm Magic Guard, as just about every single Fable in history is, it's not going to affect me. So it just means that I can't be put to sleep. But not like his last two guys have sleep moves. He's going to get paralyzed here. And it's really just going to be a broken record of me repeating my actions and him repeating his actions, him getting paralyzed and whatnot. And I actually don't think I had Stealth Rocks up in this match, so whatever. But he's going to get a Metal Burst off here, which is 200 damage. Well, not even 200 damage. But oh yeah, that's right. Metal Burst only is a one and a half, so it did like 125, I guess. I want to finish him off with the Seismic Toss now. And he's going to bring out Slacking, which is his last. And since I have Protect, he's not going to be able to hit me. And I could really just stall him out. So he decided that um, we should just end it here because I would win due to the fact that Toxic isn't affecting me. And it would have just resulted in stuff. And it's been a while since I narrated last, so I'm surprised it turned out decently, I guess. I don't know. I've not really been satisfied with a whole lot of my narrations lately, and I don't know exactly why and why not, or whatever. And, uh, I don't know. I'm just... I need to be doing a lot of stuff, and the majority of it I haven't been doing, but I suppose I should probably get around to doing what I need to do. So I need to watch some of the winter anime, because I never really got to the whole uh, impressions thing. Black Rock Shooter is going to end today when they upload the new episode on Nico Nico, and I'm honestly looking forward to that, kind of. I mean, I don't like series ending, but I've kind of got a week deadline to finish that because it's going to be taken down otherwise. Anyways, Twitter is still in the description for the people who don't care, and I appreciate comments. And I don't know why recently the whole thing with saying hi on my videos has become a thing, but whatever, I don't really care that much. It's not that big of a deal, I suppose. But uh, leave likes and comments. I love comments. I love reading them. They're great. Even if they are making me question things about people watching. And this video is now officially probably a minute longer than it should be, but who cares, honestly. And uh, I don't know anymore. Will the guy who was sitting ever finish watching his anime? Will the guy who was sitting ever finish doing homework for school? Will the guy who was sitting ever upload another narrated Wi-Fi battle? Find out next time on the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z! That's not the line. It's supposed to be narrated Wi-Fi battles, not Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I'm sorry. Next time on Narrated Pokemon Battle Z! Oh, whatever. You still get paid and I still get paid, and at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter at all.